you're hiring for a senior AI engineer. 50 candidates to screen means 25 hours of calls. Watch what an AI can do instead. Hello, welcome to our interview for senior AI engineer, the position at N8N. I'm excited to learn about your background and discuss this opportunity with you. Let's start with you telling me a bit about yourself and what interests you about this position. Hi, Nelly. My name is Derek and I'm in Canada and I'm an AI engineer. I love AI and automation. Hi, Derek. It's great to meet you. Thanks for sharing that. AI and automation are fascinating fields. There's so much potential to make an impact. What specifically drew you to this senior AI engineer position with us at N810? I think there's a lot of room for innovation. N810 is at the forefront and I'm eager to participate in leading edge work. That's fantastic to hear, Derek. It sounds like you have a real passion for being at the cutting edge of technology. Can you share an example from your past experience where you contributed to an innovative AI project or feature? What was your role and what impact did it have? I built a innovative AI set of research agents that does deep research. That sounds intriguing. Research agents can really enhance the efficiency of information gathering. Can you tell me more about how these agents were designed? Specifically, what technologies or methodologies did you use to build them and what kind of results did you achieve? After the interview, a automatic AI analysis is done of the interview with a fit score, recommendation, strengths, concerns, summary, and next steps. Now, let me show you how I created Laura, the AI agent that you saw during the interview. It's super simple. I'm going to execute this workflow that will bring a NA10 form. I'm going to fill in this form. The job title is Senior AI Engineer. The responsibilities I'm going to list here. And the company name, NA10 is hiring. The required qualifications, I'm going to add that from the job role. And then additional fields. Look at the ben benefits. And then the interview focus areas, I will select technical skills and experience and submit. So the form is submitted, it's created the interview agent and it's added all the details in this Google Sheet. And if I go to the Google Sheet, it's created this Laura agent and with all the training for the job description and system prompt welcome message all configured and it's given me a link as a hiring manager to send to the candidate. So how does this actually work? We're using two cutting edge platforms that represent the best of what's possible in 2025's no code automation landscape. First is Beyond Presence, which creates incredibly realistic AI avatars that are revolutionizing conversational AI. They aren't just talking heads, they're interactive digital humans that can hear, see, and respond in real time with natural face expressions and body language. What makes Beyond Presence special is its breakthrough in ultra low latency. We're talking about response times under 250 milliseconds, which means conversations feel completely natural. The platform supports 100 plus parallel sessions and can be customized with your own knowledge base. The second tool is NA10, the AI automation platform that connects everything together. Beyond Presence and NA10 working together like hand in glove, NA10's visual workflow builder handles the automation logic, while Beyond Presence delivers the conversational AI experience. This combination lets you build sophisticated AI systems using simple drag and drop interfaces. What's revolutionary about our approach is that we're combining the conversational power of AI avatars with the automation capabilities of NA10 to create something that would previously require a team of developers and months of work. Let me give you a quick tour of the Beyond Presence dashboard so you can see how user-friendly this platform really is. When you first log into Beyond Presence, you'll see a clean, intuitive interface that focuses on getting you up and running quickly. The platform offers several stock avatars that you can use right out of the box, each with its own personality and appearance. You can choose the one that best fits your brand and use case. But here's where it gets really powerful, the knowledge-based system. You can upload documents, FAQs, product information, or any content you want your avatar to know about. The AI will learn this information and reference it during conversations. For our HR system, you can upload job descriptions, company information, and interview guidelines so Laura knows exactly how to conduct professional interviews. Here's Laura's setup. You can customize the greeting, role and objectives, conversational flow and structure, and even the agent's language. 
let me show you exactly what's happening underneath the hood. So the first thing we're going to do is to make a copy of the spreadsheet. So the spreadsheet will have the results for the interview as well as the interview agents. Next, we're going to create a N8N form trigger. So it would be this one here. You go form. This is the trigger. And then when we open the trigger, we will have the different fields. We have a form title, form description, job title, company name, job responsibilities, required qualifications, additional details, as well as the interview focus areas. So this will then provide the data into this Beyond Presence node. So the Beyond Presence node is a verified community node. So you can go here and when you select Beyond Presence, if it's not installed, you can go ahead and install that. Let's open it up. So this will take the input from the form and it will uh, add in a create operation. So in the create operation, I'm going to include the system prompt. So this is a professional HR interview conducting a job interview. And the goal is to access the candidates thoroughly while making them feel comfortable and valued. So that's part of our system prompt. We're going to specify the job title. This is from the NA10 form, the job responsibility. That's also from the form as well as the other two areas from the form as well. And we've also specified the interview approach. So start with a warm and comfortable greeting, brief introduction, and so on. And then here's the style that we specified here. So after uh, we specify the system prompt, we can name uh, the agent and then specify the language. So there's multiple languages to choose from. And then this is the greeting. So you can customize the greeting here. So we're going to start with, hello, welcome to the interview. And then I specify the job role. This is coming from the form. And then the position, this is also coming from the form. And then uh, this part here is something that uh, we tell the agent to, uh, to specify. And then we can specify the max length duration of the interview. So once this is created, it's going to go into the spreadsheet and this interview section, interview agent section, will have a row here with what we've created. And then uh, this is the node that actually updates it, right? So uh, we go into here and we map the agent ID that's uh, created from the Beyond Presence node, the agent name that's also, uh, that we specified. And then this is the interview link. So after the agent is created, we're gonna have a interview link that we can send to the candidate. And then this is all the job descriptions and system prompts, everything we keep here just to keep uh, track of the agent uh, that we built. Now we're gonna look at the second part of the workflow, which is the automated interview analysis. So this is uh, what happens when an interview is conducted and then finished, and we want the AI to give us an assessment based on the interview. So we're gonna start with a webhook. So this webhook you can get from here and drag it onto the canvas. So let's open that up. So what we've done is created a uh, address to connect the Beyond Presence agent to our analysis flow. All right, so we'll copy this and then we'll go to the Beyond Presence right afterwards, after I go through the workflow. And it's gonna respond immediately, but it's gonna pass in information to this handle webhook event, All right? So this node is from the Beyond Presence community node. So I select that, I can select handle webhook event. So that's what it's doing here. And then I'm gonna handle the event type of call ended. So when a call uh, has completed, this will uh, be able to detect that event and be able to uh, give us the information based on that event. But you can also uh, uh, select other events. So other events could be like a message, right? So this is a message exchange during call. So you can do analysis in real time as the call is happening. So after this is processed, this is the uh, analyze interview agent. So this agent is using GPT uh, 4.5 and we're gonna use uh, this prompt. Analyze this job interview and provide a hiring assessment. So uh, we can ask it to retrieve the job description from uh, the Google Sheet. So I'm attaching a Google Sheet node to it. So this node as a tool, what we'll do is we'll go to the spreadsheet and we'll look up the uh, interview agents. And then from there, it's gonna figure out uh, what is the job description uh, based on the uh, agent ID. So it's gonna go 
into uh, here, look it up, what is the uh, agent ID that we created, and then it can look up the job description. The reason why it's doing that is so that it can um, provide more context uh, for the analysis, whether or not the person meets the uh, requirements of the job. So then we have the job description, uh, we have the candidate name, which is also uh, available uh, after the candidate logs in, uh, interview date, and the duration is available through the webhook. And then here's the transcript. So this is where uh, we get the data uh, from the webhook as well. So as the interview is done, a transcript is uh, created. And then what uh, this agent's gonna do is provide a comprehensive assessment, uh, in, including the score uh, in terms of the fit, key strengths, any concerns or gaps, hiring recommendation and suggested next steps. And here's uh, an example of the JSON that uh, we wanted to produce. So this corresponds to exactly uh, the interview results here, candidate name, interview, all that. So that corresponds to the JSON structure. And then after this is done, uh, we are going to append this to the Google Sheet. So in Google Sheet, we're gonna have the candidate name, interview date, all that. So that's all coming from the analysis agent. And then after this is run, we're gonna get a uh, new row here in the interview results. This system works far beyond HR interviews. You can build customer support agents that handle inquiries, sales consultants that qualify leads and demo products, training assistants for employee onboarding, or even educational tutors for online courses. This framework adapts to any conversational use case. What makes the HR interview application use case particularly compelling in my experience testing it was that the experience was very natural and realistic. To get started, sign up for both Beyond Presence and NA10. Beyond Presence offers a free tier and NA10 offers free trial and self reporting options. I've included the Google Sheets template and workflows in the description. You can have this running in about 30 minutes.